Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are going back with the Crane of Rails, which is actually one of the steam trains that I actually built. This thing was built by me, that is true, that is actually true. Um, I really, 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 really like the way this thing looks, I think we've actually done a really good job with this. However, what's the point in having something that can only work on rails? What's the point? So, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into a tracked vehicle. We're going to get rid of the uh, the bogey at the front. We're going to get rid of the bogey right there. We're going to get rid of the bogeys on the back as well. And essentially, we're going to turn this thing into a tank. Let's do it. All right, so I figured this might be like a bit of an interesting thing to do. So, uh, yes, uh, <laughs> that is, it, it's what we're going to do. We're going to try and make it so that it works. Um, I don't know how this is going to work, but I guess we'll see. We're going to delete this for right now as well. And this as well. I don't know whether they're actually powered. Presumably they are. So that's kind of cool. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to put some tracks on this and hopefully have it be a tracked vehicle. Uh, I don't know whether we should get rid of these. I feel like we somewhat should. I feel like these should be taken away, but I really don't know. Uh, in fact, I do. Let's get rid of them. Let's delete this bit right here. Delete all of this. There we go. And yeah, we're going to delete all of the wheels. Uh... Because I think we should. They're no longer necessary for the running of the locomotive. So what's the point in having them? You know? Does that make any sense? Hopefully that makes some sort of sense. Oh, I don't want to delete all the way through. That is not my objective. That is not the objective of the game. But uh, yeah, we're going to delete all of these. And we're going to go ahead and replace them with some... Uh, I'm not even doing it on both sides. I'll be back once I've deleted all of this. Alright, so this is what we've got. Essentially, we've got a locomotive now, and a tender, with no, uh, with no wheels. There's, there's nothing on there. Uh, in fact, there is, there's actually literally nothing at all. Uh, with that being said, what we should really be doing is powering... Oh yeah, I forgot how this worked. They fall down. Uh, but what we should be doing is powering the, the wheels, or the, um... Uh, the, the tracks via generators, which are actually electric motors. So realistically, we should actually just be putting electric motors all the way down here. Uh, and that would work out for us, hopefully. But uh, it's not actually the case. It's not what we've got. So I'm not really too sure what to do about that, if that makes any sense at all. Uh, what we should do is add a pipe. All right, we're going to add a pipe. It's going to go in here like this. There we go. And we're going to get a gearbox, just like this one. And we're going to put it... I think like this. There we go. Excellent. We make it three to one. And we get ourselves a generator. In fact, actually, hang on. Do this. Grab one of these. Put it on here like so. There we go. So we can do it on both sides. Generator. And hopefully, the uh, the steam will actually be able to power our generators. Which, then we can have electric motors. And that's probably a good idea. In fact, we can probably get rid of this completely. Uh, because it's sort of somewhat unnecessary. We don't need it. So, yeah. Anyway, pipe this up into there, and that should be good to go. Very nice. Yes. All right, we're also going to go ahead and fill that in. That's fine. And we can actually take this bit out. It is unnecessary, so we don't need it. Bam, there we go. Nice. All right, so with that being said, we now need to actually add the tracks. We do indeed. I don't know where to add them or how to add them, but we're going to do it. We're going to add them. So uh, let's start at the back. Uh, we're going to delete these and these. And we're going to start adding our tracks. So I think we should go down here. Get ourselves a tank. Track thingamabobby, like a large one. And see if we can put it on. I don't think we can. How big are these? These are big. These are big boy things. Alright, okay. Let's go in a little bit. Let's try going in just one. If this works, that'd be good. No, let's go in two. That also doesn't work because they're just too big. They're just a little bit too big. So bring this back out. Let's go with the medium one. Uh, in one. There we go. All right, the medium ones fit. All right, if it fits, it sits. Let's go. Nice. Attach this up to there so that it actually fits on. We'll actually send it all the way down to the end, pretty much. There we go. We'll have some wheels at the front as well, because I think we should. So bring it out. In fact, hang on. Hang on, hang on. There we go. Probably bring it out here. Excellent. And add more wheels. Let's do this. There we go. Nice. This is cool. Alright, so unlike a tank or anything like that, these are actually just going to be spread out pretty much everywhere. It doesn't really matter where they go, uh, but they are going to be spread out all around. Uh, and in fact, the easiest way to actually spread these out properly would be to add them to here. Uh, so we are going to add them every one of these. There we go. There we go. And that's all good. Alright, attach these on. There's one. Uh, there's two. And there's three. Alright, very good. 
Just want to see what it looks like. Very strange. Like, very, very strange, but it works. So, what's the point in changing it? Let's continue. Move it backwards to uh, the right point, hopefully. About here. In fact, actually, directly on here. Get ourselves another wheel, like this one. And put it on there. Bam. There we go. Nice. So, all of that is actually done. Um, got our, our tracks on there. We're actually going to delete the thing that it's attached to. Uh, this whole track system thingamabobby in the middle is all going to go. It's all just going to get deleted. There we go. So they're not actually going to be attached to anything, which is weird, but fine at the same time. We're going to go with this color, and we're going to attach this up to the ceiling uh, via this, and we're going to do that multiple times. All right, all the way down to the back end. We're going to attach it to the ceiling, uh, except these ones. And you might be wondering, why? Why those ones? Uh, the reason being is because we actually need some motors to power these. Yeah, we do. We're going to delete that for right now, though. And then back here, we need the same sort of system. We need the same sort of system. So bring this all the way to the back. Send it out a little bit here. Send it out a little bit here. And maybe even a little bit here. There we go. Get these. Whack them on. There's one. There's two. And there's three. All right, cool. So this should work. It should just get pulled around. This is going to be our power plant. It's going to be completely fine. And that's okay. So now we need a motor. Yeah, we do. We're going to go with a medium one. We're going to put it right here. We're then going to get another medium motor. And we're going to put it right here. Good. In fact, actually, move this one in a little bit. We got this. So this is going to go right there. Nice. All right, so this is where things get kind of interesting. We need some pipes. Here we go. Good. Yes. Okay, so this one's going to go to uh, this one. That's fine. There we go. Down and in. We're good. This one's going to go to this one. This way. All right. Down. Side this way. And in. There we go. All right. So we got our, our power generation We in the motor that's already in it, the, uh, the steam engine. We've got our motors actually ready to go. So now we should be able to drive this thing around. Crazy. All right. Let's save it as tank train. Okay. It can't really be called Queen of Rails anymore when it's not on rails, but that's fine. Uh, and I'm going to go get a microcontroller from a go-kart. Sounds weird, but there you go. Uh, go cart. There it is. Damn. That's good. All right, so we need to grab this, I believe it is. Go ahead and cut it. I don't know who it's made by. I'm not even going to lie. I'm not sure who it's made by. But um, essentially, it's a tracks thing. So it allows our tracks to work properly, essentially. We're going to move it in. We're going to move it up. We're going to paste it right there. Merge it on. And to be honest, it doesn't look too bad, but we'll just paint it anyway. Good, so... WNS is going to go to WNS somewhere up here. Oh, we need an actual seat to drive it. We do. We need like a driver's seat. I guess we can just have a driver's seat. Sure. We'll put a driver's seat right here. <laughs> right. So WNS is this. Let's go ahead and attach that to here. WNS. A and D goes to A and D. Very good. Uh, right motor. Oh, which one's the right motor? Is this one. And left motor is this one. All right. Left motor is this one. Sorry. There we go. All right. Excellent. We're ready to go. <laughs> We're not quite ready to go, but we are somewhat ready to go. Put the generators on the generator thing in my bobby and see if this will all work out. I think it will. Let's go. Spawn it in. Looks so weird. It looks so weird, but let's, uh, let's jump inside anyway and get this thing started. So I can't remember how this works. Firebox. Brakes. No, we don't need brakes. Clutch. Air valves on. Pumps and fan are already on. Oh, wait. This hasn't actually been updated since the uh, the update. So this will probably explode. But don't worry about it. It's fine. It's completely fine. Alright, so the dial's going down because that's our coal that's inside there. Obviously, it disappears over time because it gets used up. Boiler temperature, as soon as this reaches 100, we can probably start moving. Do we have a battery? Yes, we do. There it is. So it should start charging the battery as soon as it gets to 100. Hopefully this will work. As soon as it gets to 100, this should start going up and we'll see if it does. Ready? It is. There we go. Excellent. Let's go. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Nice. Okay, so it drives in a straight line. I don't know what's going on with the front. Hang on. Something's happened over here, 
And it's not good. There we go. It just got disconnected from the power. Right, so that's all good. Now the front will fall down. Uh, everything else back here is fine. The boiler will ex will will explode at some point, but don't worry about that. Um, and we don't actually have enough power to turn ourselves. A and D goes to A and D, but then the left and right thing, we don't have enough going on here to actually make that work. If that makes any sense. We don't have enough going on to make it work. It's fine. Whatever. Come on, let's go again. Let's try. Oh, with that being said, by the way, the front has actually folded down this time as well. So I'm going to wait for the boiler again, and I'll be back with you guys in a second. Hang on. Firebox on. Clutch up. There we go. All right, here we go. We're at 100 now, so the battery should start charging again, remember? Uh, it is actually doing that. Excellent. We are going to move. Our turning radius is... I'm going to go with... Crazy. Uh, it's it's It doesn't turn, but... My steam train is now on tracks. Look at that. Beautiful. That's wonderful. I mean, it should be a common occurrence, to be fair. You should see these all the time, but but you just don't, you know? You just don't see these very often. Um, no, actually, it's really bad. <laughs> it is actually really bad. I just thought it'd be a fun video to do this and see what it would actually be like. The boiler hasn't exploded yet. The pressure is getting to almost 10, so it will explode in a second. Um, so, yeah, it's about to explode. There we go. Yeah. Bit of a problem when that happens. I can't remember how you fixed that. The update made it explode, so I'm not sure what happens now. But, um, yeah. We got it driving. It's pretty cool. Just as a side note, I've turned on the infinite electricity to see if we can actually turn this. Uh, let's see if we can turn it on the spot. It is something that we can do. However, I realize now that the actual tender isn't actually, like, turning, if that makes sense. The tender itself seems to be, like, merged with us. It's, it's moving at the same time. How weird is that? So, why is that? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Uh, I believe it's possibly to do with this. So I'm going to delete that one. I'm going to delete this one. And actually, I'll delete this too. There we go. So now we don't have those pieces in the middle. I believe this thing should uh, turn itself, maybe. I'm not actually sure. Let's see if it works. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Turn. No, it's still doing the same thing. That's weird. Why has that happened? Oh. Yeah, why has that happened? Is it because this has power? No. It does have power, though. It, it transfers the power through it. What is it connected to? It's not connected to anything. So what's happening here? Why is it not turning? Why is it not turning? Like, when I turn the whole vehicle, it actually turns the rear as well. It's not, like, twisting with it, if that makes sense. It's not It's not twisting. Why are you not twisting, huh? It should just turn on this thing, and that should be it, but it's not. It's acting as if it's the same vehicle, but it's... But it's not the same vehicle. That's weird. It's only attached via this. Let's, uh, delete this. And uh, instead, I guess we'll have a pivot. Here we go. There's no reason not to. Let's do it. There we go. Nice. All right. There we go. Merge that with that. Let's go. Let's go, everybody. Is it doing the same thing? Is it actually? I feel like it is. Let's see. No, it's it's working this time. Woohoo! Nice. Look at that. Amazing. Yeah. Alright, well anyway, we've done our job, we've done our mission, that's it, that's all that really matters. We could turn it into a boat as well, I suppose, but uh, I don't really see a point in that, because, you know, tracks are better than boats. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to end the video here for now, thank you guys very much for watching, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, thanks for watching, see you next time guys, bye bye.